hello it's me again um so today what i wanted to talk about is have you ever been scammed and it may it came to mind because i'm getting a new car praise the lord um i was able to get a little uh, car i was having a hard time getting a car but I had to put some money down and I put it down first and they're bringing the car later. And my mother said, what if they're, what if it's a scam? What if it's not really, what if it's not really? And I told her, if, it, if it's a scam, I will chase them from here to the end of the world. So I have been scammed before. I was trying to do a, um, a not a GoFundMe, a, it's not a GoFundMe. I can't think of what you call it, but it's where you try to raise money for a business. And um, I found this company and they said they help you do it and they help you put everything together so that you could do it and then and all of that kind of stuff. And it was $10,000 at the time. And, um, and, you know, I looked at it. They had everything look good. And so I did it. Well, they were supposed to get all my stuff together within, I think, a month or so. And by a month, they really hadn't done much. And then um, they kept giving me excuses and this and that and the other. And I was like, oh, no, I want my money back. And um, they were like, oh, well, we can't give you your money back because we we're doing this. And we were I was like, oh, uh, uh, <laughs> no, you got me mixed up. Uh, I want my money back. So they had done a little bit of work. So I said, okay, you can give me $6,000. You can keep whatever it was four or maybe I said seven anyway they still didn't want to give me my money back when I say I chased them to the end of the world I did I posted on the ripped off report I posted on um I, I sent it to the to the FBI I sent, I sent it to anybody you could send it to and then I would then I would send them um, a receipt or email showing who I sent it to. I posted it on Facebook. I posted it on Instagram. I posted everywhere. And when I started posting it, other people uh, started seeing it. And apparently this person was scamming other people. So, um, and they hadn't gotten any of their money back. But I would write him emails and I would say, oh, no, you're going to give me my money back. Well, I can't. No, oh, no, no, you are. You will. And I would just I would just worry him to death. I would worry him to death. He got I think he just was just overwrought with me uh, chasing him. That he, just, he said, let me give this woman her money back because he gave me my money back. And I don't think the other people got their money back, but they started getting together and I think they were going to sue him because it turns out he was this other person he wasn't even the person he said he was I mean and they had a whole website you know that looked really good and everything was whatever I'm trying to think of what it is so I can say the name of it because I don't have a problem saying the name of it because they shouldn't have been doing it anyway but I can't think of it right now but um yes so if you scam me or you do take my money or you do something, whatever, I would chase you to the ends of the earth and you will see the other side. <laughs> you will see the other side of Sharon because I don't play with that. I also had a, a television company that didn't want to give me my money for a show that I was that I had, you know, actually found the talent for and all that. I did the same thing with them. I wrote this person, that person. I had lawyers write them. I put them on the ripped off report, whatever. No, you got me mixed up pretty much. So um, there are a lot of scammers out there. You really have to be careful because um, I've, I've been researching it a lot because I was thinking about doing a, a show about it. Um, they, uh, especially to older people. They do all kinds of things. They send you those emails like they're from this person. They're from PayPal. They're from all these different places, and they're not from anywhere. They're from, some of them are from India. Some of them are from China. Some of them are from Africa. Some of them are from right here. And they have some very sophisticated ways of scamming people. So you really have to be careful, especially with those texts and emails and stuff that come and they seem like they're real, you know, do this, do that, do that. Mm -mm. You really have to be careful because they will scam you. They will scam you to death. 
So that's all I have to say about that. Um, but uh, also, if you've gotten scammed, I have also another guy who's an attorney who works on stuff like that. He, uh, he helped me with mine too. We both worried to do to death. I mean, he was worried to death. And, um, and he, and he helped me with it too. So if you need someone like that, hit me up and I'll let you know, um, who it is that, that does that too. Okay. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Goodbye.